At Barcelona Supercomputing Center, technology company Intel will launch a cutting-edge microprocessor design facility, BSC. According to La Vanguardia, it will require a $400 million initial investment over 10 years that will be split with the Spanish government. The deal struck with Intel within the scope of the post-COVID funding for microchips, which were approved yesterday by the executive and have a total budget of 12,250 million euros, will allow for the construction of the new RISC-V processor laboratory. The North American company and the state will each pay 20 million euro over the following 10 years to launch the project. One of the most significant projects the cash from the microchip will be utilized for is the laboratory that will be built in Barcelona. Thank you, Pat Gelsinger, CEO of Intel, for choosing Spain for the cutting-edge laboratory of RISC-V processors, the president of the Spanish government, Pedro Sanchez, tweeted from Davos. The lab will open soon and will initially hire 300 people, with plans to grow the staff in the coming years. The Universitat Politecnica de Catalunya's North Campus Nexus 2 building will house the facilities, UPC. Natalia Mosqui, the director general for the industry at the Generalitat, expressed her appreciation for the investment in a tweet and reaffirmed that Catalonia has the industrial and research fabric to host both microchip design projects and a semiconductor plant. The possibility of luring a factory. Aside from Samsung in South Korea, which is the leader in sales, and TSMC in Taiwan, Intel is one of the few firms in the world that produces the most recent generation of chips. The FabCat initiative asserts that Catalonia could attempt to host a semiconductor or chip plant even if the approved project relates to creating microchips. In fact, a portion of the industry contends that there is a market beyond the most recent generation projects, microchips smaller than 5 nanometers, and that if the manufacturing of larger chips were also taken into consideration, there would be a wider selection of candidate companies to launch the investment.